guilty. That's the decision of a Tri-Cities jury returned late this afternoon in the trial of a physician charged with driving under the influence. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Jai Smith. It took the jury really less than an hour to return that guilty verdict in the trial of Dr. Kiran Patibandla. A jury, a grand jury, indicted the doctor on DUI charges in November 2010. Patibandla told the court he was not guilty this morning, but according to the Tennessee Highway Patrol, at the time of Patibandla's arrest in November 2010, he failed two field sobriety tests, and a Tennessee Highway Patrolman said that the uh, doctor told him one day he may need his assistance or one of his co-workers and implied he would not render care if he needed it. 11 Connects Tabitha Mills was in the court for testimony today as Dr. Pajavadala took the stand in his own defense. What did he say to the court? Josh, today in court, Dr. Padibanla explained the reasons for his erratic driving and his appearance during his November 10, 2010 arrest. In court, the arresting officer testified he pulled Padibanla over because the doctor could not control his vehicle and was driving 20 miles per hour under the speed limit. The trooper said he arrested Padibanla because the doctor appeared to have bloodshot eyes, slowed speech, and failed two of three sobriety tests. Padibanla says his appearance was caused by his duties as an on call doctor and said that three days prior to his arrest he only slept about a total of 10 hours and Josh no discussion today in court about the doctor's alleged comments that he would not give medical care to the officer and his co-workers uh, any explanation prior to this uh, guilty verdict that came in late today and to why he was driving uh, so uncontrollably as the trooper witnessed Yes, Josh. Pettibanla said he was trying to get his cell phone out of his pocket and it fell to the floor of his car. The doctor said any questionable driving on his part was a product of him reaching for his cell phone. Not something jurors bought as they returned that guilty verdict. Late today, Tabitha Mills live in our newsroom. Tabitha, thanks very much.